And uh, when, after we moved up to that fourth vehicle, not probably not even a few minutes after that, uh, we got hit. We got hit with an IED, which um, I found out later on was a double stacked, uh, one. it was two 155 rounds, artillery rounds stacked. And it was a command wire that detonated it. So somebody sitting at the end of a wire with a battery, a uh, nine volt battery, just touched the battery to the wire and explode. Um, so we got hit and the IED went through the bottom of the vehicle, which the Bradley is a pretty armored vehicle, except for the bottom. The sides were extremely armored. The bottoms are not very armored. So I went through the bottom up into the turret where I was sitting and Montez was standing actually on the seat. Uh, so half of his body was outside of the vehicle. And uh, it hit our fuel tank. Yeah, and honestly, if it didn't hit our fuel tank, I don't think anything would happen. Sometimes, you know, I think about how uh, if I'm down in the dumps and I'm dealing with some difficult things, I'll go to St. Jude's and I'll look and I'll be like, I got it pretty darn good. Because for 24 years, I got to live this straight and normal life. These kids, right. I, they don't know what normal life is. Yeah. Normal is having your hair fall out, uh, living in a hospital, being sick. How can I say that I have it bad? I can't. It's impossible. And I think people need to understand that as I don't have it bad. I am very, very lucky and very, very blessed to be in the position that I'm in today. Uh, and then she got back to her grandpa. And she looked at him and she said, Grandpa, he's really nice. Yeah, the exact opposite of what I thought she was going to do. And uh, I talked about a moment of hopelessness. Uh, that little girl came over and changed my life by forever by dumping a bucket of hope on me. And she was five or six. She didn't know that I needed hope. She didn't know that she had hope. But I still got it from her. Doesn't matter that she didn't know it. Imagine if we knew what we were capable of. Imagine if every kid in uh, this world knew what they had inside of them. And it sounds ridiculous to some people, like, oh, that's just so nice, like, and that's all it is, it's just a nice story. No. We all have it inside of us somewhere where we can change people's lives and maybe even save people's lives because that little girl, I can guarantee you, for a fact, that she changed my life forever. Did she make it so that I wasn't naive enough to believe that when I went out in public now that kids weren't gonna stare? No, not at all. But she gave me a confidence that I didn't have before. And the confidence came from, you know, now kids are gonna stare at me, and if I see a kid staring at me, and they're in close proximity, I will actually go up and I'll say, I'll talk to them. I don't tell them about war. I don't tell them about Iraq. Um, I'll just start talking and wherever it takes me. Sometimes I'll say, you know, I was in a fire, and I said, I bet just a little lesson out of it. I bet your parents told you to never play with fire, right? No, oh, yeah. And, and instantly, like I said earlier in the conversation, he's just a man. That's what I become. Yeah. I'm just another guy. Uh, Rick, I can only imagine the spirit of Amy, your wife. Can you give us a little bit of... Yeah, uh, again... First, she's amazing. I, uh, I don't know how much else it takes to explain her because she's amazing. But for a long time in my life, I didn't know if this would ever happen. And there were some dark times with that because who's going to accept me and who's going to allow themselves to wake up every morning with me? That was tough for me. Uh, so we talked about acceptance earlier. Uh, what was my acceptance in that? And I had to find the right one, the, the perfect one. So she's amazing. She uh, brings so much to my world. And, uh, and the biggest thing of that is love. Um, her family is some of the closest. That's the biggest thing in her life. And now it's part of my life as well, and I love that. Uh, she's a part of my family's life. She's just tr truly amazing. Uh, for a long time, I would say that I wasn't complete without love. And I don't want to say I'm complete now because I still feel like I, I always have some growing to do. But this is as close as I've ever been for sure. And I can't think of anything I would change right now.